Good morning. Maybe you think you have a tough time. <laughs> Just consider these poor people who are supposed to vote for Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah, it must be terrible. I saw him this morning. He was sitting next to his wife and he was talking about Trump. Only he didn't use the name Trump. He said George. George. <laughs> and next to him was his wife whispering to him. Trump. Trump. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I sympathize with these people who are supposed to vote for this guy. Yeah, I do. I mean, you're supposed to be proud of this guy. That you're that you now want to vote into the White House to become the president. It's, I think it's impossible to be proud of this guy. Yeah. The Trump supporters, it's much easier for them, you see. Because Trump is good. Yeah. You can feel some pride. But not with Biden. No. I was also very happy to see that this, you know, this was a Trump campaign ad showing Joe Biden sniffing this young girl's hair. Yeah, it was brilliant. That was a very creepy image, you know. He's, they picked a very creepy one. There's lots of these examples, but the, this one was very creepy, as they all are, actually. But this girl was trying to get away, you see. Uh, and uh, Joe Biden was leaning over. He's ge he was getting closer, trying to kiss her, I, I think, touching her. <sighs> Terrible. Well, I'm, I'm happy that it's shown, that people get to see this, because I know in, here in Sweden, for instance, media will never show this. Never. No. And I know US media will not show it, because it's just too much. It's too creepy, you see. Hmm. These images are, you know, people can't stand it if they watch it. Unless you're a pedophile yourself. Yeah. So I sympathize with the voters, these guys who will vote for Joe Biden. Uh, can't be good. <laughs> I also wonder about the flu. Uh, this time of year in Sweden is flu season. I don't hear about the flu. <laughs> what happened to it? Yeah. I also wonder about this. I haven't got it confirmed yet, but I will by the end of the year. The total number of deaths in Sweden. I saw some statistics and it probably like this. It will be lower this year compared to last year. I don't know yet. We will have to wait and see. But it seems like it. It's going to be lower. So. What happened to diabetes hmm. and the cancer and the heart disease? What happened? Wow, maybe this new thing, this new flu, cured cancer. I don't know. Hmm. And uh, these guys, there are some people who are very desperate about this, trying to hide the truth. Uh, there is a show here in Sweden, a channel called Sweb TV. It's a very good channel. Uh, they talked about the new flu. Yeah, this show was taken off, taken out, it was banned by YouTube. That's right. <laughs> They're becoming desperate. Well, they are. Bill Gates is desperate because he, he invested so much in this, right? And this guy is no good. No. Anyway, he attacked this uh, Trump advisor, Scott Atlas. Scott Atlas is, he's a, he's a medical doctor. Yeah. And Bill Gates attacked him for not backing stricter COVID policies. He said, <laughs> Bill Gates, he said, this is so silly, isn't it? Bill Gates says, we now have a pseudo-expert advising the president. Well, I, this is what I heard. Bill Gates is a college dropout. <laughs> and he's advising us all, isn't he? 
Yeah. He's advising the world about these things. Yeah. <laughs> he ran Microsoft. Wow. Strange world we're living in. Anyway, I think he's becoming sort of desperate now. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. Yeah. He's a billionaire. He's not a medical doctor. He doesn't have anything to do with medical stuff, you know? All right. Be good. Bye.